to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams. For in dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Lots of oranges, half the sugar, 1,000% delicious. That's simple math. Say yes to simple. I did catch up with uh, one of the winners, one of the future 22, uh, a young lady uh, who, uh, uh, the youngest uh, stockbroker, youngest black female stockbroker on Wall Street, uh, and here is uh, our conversation. Okay. Um, all right, Lauren, so uh, they hand out some big checks. So you're one of the future 22. Uh, what do you do to be one of the future 22? have to be a game changer and in my case I made history by becoming the youngest trader and the second african-american woman to ever work at the New York Stock Exchange gotcha so when did we last talk was it because I've actually interviewed you before yes, I yes. Did and it was day. yes at the uh, black America with Rev run we yes? was it that one that no we, we sat down and I'm trying to remember where was it I literally was looking at my, my hair lady. I was like, I know that we, we've done something together. Yes, I don't know. Yes, we have. We have. I have terrible memory, and I'm it's only 27, good. so <laughs> I got a memory of a 70-year-old. It's, so. it's, it's all good. No, because when you said youngest people stock trade, I said, hold up. We already did an interview. And so I'm trying, I was trying to remember where we did it, but I know we did the interview. Um, so let's, so let's, 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 talk, let's talk about that uh, because with the other folks uh, who are here, the other young folks who are here, uh, it's also about, you would say, game changers, but also creating pathways, not saying I want to work for somebody else, but I want to have folks who work for me, or as I say, not cashing checks, writing checks. Right, being an entrepreneur, and I think with this new generation, we are really evolving from our parents, our grandparents, and really just taking the leap of finding our passion and being entrepreneurs and actually making money from it, which is beautiful. Well, look, that's, that's always a good thing. Again, I, I prefer to be one who's uh, handing out checks. So what, what would what, what you say has been uh, the biggest uh, thing that you've learned doing your own thing? Because it's not always uh, peaches and cream. No. Being from Georgia, I feel a little peach in there, as you see. I saw that. I love that. Thank you for that. Um, the biggest thing I've learned is how much people, whether they are intentional or not about it, will doubt you and will put fear in your mind and make you believe that you can't achieve what you have set out to do. And I'm a true believer that we individually know ourselves better than anyone else. So if you believe that you can do something, go out there and do it. Don't listen to the noise. Don't listen to the people. Make your dreams a reality. Where did it start for you to do this? Like, what was the idea? What, got, what was the seed that got planted when you said, oh, I can do that? You know, it's my family, honestly. My, my family is the most supportive, and I have a brother with a disability, and he has this most optimistic mindset, and if he could do anything, he would. And so for me, I felt like, what is my excuse? And so, saying, but, but did you have a family history of who, who, who was working on Wall Street? Uh, you know, no. right, so, 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 what, so what was it where you said, oh, I want to do that? What was that thing that sparked that? You know what? Nothing sparked that. I had a gentleman say to me, do you want to work at the New York Stock Exchange? And what are you doing at the time? I just graduated, and I studied genetics, and I said, hell yes. I don't know so if I can say that. So you studied genetics, yes. and he says, you want to work at the New York Stock Exchange. Yes. How do those two go together? It doesn't. It doesn't. He just figured, oh, you smart. <laughs> he was like, you making genetics? Yeah, you smart as hell. You can figure this out. I don't know, but he definitely opened that opportunity, and I'm a big believer of opportunities and take the opportunity and do what you will with that. And so I said yes. I did have a strong background in math, um, so there's a lot of correlation in that. And Y'all know I, that that ain't wrong. I can help you. I, 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 can help you. I can count money. I can negotiate I can, money. I can negotiate deals, but I hated math. Well, listen, I got you if you need it. I can help you budget, save, raise that credit score. What are we, what are we trying to do? But oh, I, don't even, right, I don't even, well, first of all, I pay for everything in cash, so I don't even need credit. I'm sorry. I'm saying. 
Everybody needs credit, even a business owner. For what? You need it. For what? To build. It helps build your capital. It helps to be leverage. I got a capital in the bank. Don't be silly. <laughs> Don't be silly. Anyways. <laughs> I, math did drive me crazy. Yeah. I told my professors, I said, hey, look, I can count money. I can go make money, yeah. negotiate deals. I ain't use the Pythagorean theorem for nothing. Calculus, no, and I think that that's, I mean, simple math at its finest is what you need for, for finance. And if you could do that, then you're fine. And I think people get intimidated about finance and being in the industry because of the other things that we learn in school that just isn't applicable to your everyday life. Although I'm still not understanding crypto. It's still like, I actually like um, ones, fives, don't invest in crypto. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Period. He's he on my team. He's a crypto fiend. No. No, he's absolutely not. Go ahead. Go, go ahead and talk to the camera. Don't 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 camera. invest in crypto. Get over here. Tell him why. Get over here. All right, y'all. So um so I'm having this conversation with Lauren and then crypto comes up and she's like, Oh hell I don't get involved in crypto. Well, Anthony Hampton, who works on the show, he is all into crypto. And so I said, why don't I two have a conversation about crypto? Here that is. Here's a conversation. Not to invest in crypto. Lauren, do what you do. Crypto is a speculative asset. There is nothing backing it. And as of yesterday, it has dropped down to the lowest that it's ever dropped down. So everybody that's saying that crypto is a hedge against inflation, it's not. It's fine. not. It's not a hedge against inflation right now. Um, there's, there, there, there's regulation that's being drawn up and discussed. So once it gets regulated, institutional investors will start investing. So if you get in early, the assets won't change. Okay, can so I? That is lowest right now. I I think it's a good time to get in, especially if you have money. You got to have money to do it, though. I wouldn't put my last dollar in, but if I have a thousand dollars, I would definitely invest it in a crypto. Okay, so what I say to that is, yes, it's going to be regulated, but it's not going to be regulated under the SEC. It's going to be regulated under commodities and future trading. Futures that trade are not traded and backed on any kind of value. It's also considered speculative trading. So unless, and, and the difference for people that don't know what as like being regulated under the SEC, being regulated under the SEC means that you are a corporation that you have to disclose your quarterly financials. You um, actually have money to give to your shareholders. All that is great, but do you go to the casino? I don't. Okay, maybe not you, but there's millions of people that go to the casino. There's millions of people that also play the lottery. Right. So and ninety nine percent of their money. But they don't lose ninety nine percent of their. Wait, money. gambling? No, they don't. If really? If they lost ninety nine percent of their money, how would they afford the gas to get there? How would they? They're not losing ninety nine percent of their money. They're using. They're losing maybe ninety nine percent of the money that they're gambling with. But that's just the fun in it. So it's like, if I'm, I have other ways. I have Roths. I have other ways that. I invest my money. I have other companies as well. But if I want to be speculative about crypto, it's just a choice because everybody has a choice. So it's like it could work. It couldn't work, but I'm not going to put my, you know, people do DraftKings, everything. I mean, there's DraftKings, there's uh, Caesars betting, like there's crypto. So you're telling the people that are listening to this interview to go out there and gamble? No. No, what I'm telling them is. He's not on the air. He's behind the camera. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not a, on the air. This is not financial advice at all. I'm just saying this is this is Anthony Hampton advice. So if you want to do crypto, do crypto. Like, all right, <laughs> we good. All right Anthony. All right, go back to work, Anthony. Uh, but yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm look, I'm seriously. I, I've had people hit me up like, "Well, you you should accept crypto for your Brenda Funk fan club." I said. But let me, what I will say is that I don't believe in crypto. What I do believe is the blockchain technology. And I do believe that they, blockchain de technology will be a disruptor in its space. Okay, so now, here, so now me and you are going to definitely talk later. Because okay. I've had people on my show, I still know what the hell they talking about with blockchain. It's software. At, 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 its, at its rudest, at, at the root, it's just software. Right. And the software and what it's going to be able to do, amazing. As far as blockchain, crypto, Ethereum, I don't know what that, it's, we're already seeing that it, it yeah. and all the money, honestly, that has been made in crypto has already been made. I know Anthony said like more institutional investors will go into it. Institutional investors are going to something else. 
right? Because we see this trend happening. They're going to put their money probably into NFTs, and then that's going to crash. And then to something else, Metaverse, and then that's going to crash. So, like, it's a... So you ain't down on NFTs or Metaverse? NFTs, no. The Metaverse is still... It's still open because I'm not really sure First what they're doing. They, they can't figure out what to do in this universe <laughs> versus trying to figure out the metaverse. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. But, right. but it's open. It's open. All right. Well, look, it's good to see you. To see uh, we, 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 yes, we got to communicate again. So I'll give you my information. You can explain to me what the hell, uh, uh, walk me through blockchain. Because I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Again, I, I, I like what I know. Yeah. My, I'm trying to say, what's in my pocket? I like that. I mean, I know I know what that does. <laughs> I agree. I know what that does, too. All right, then. Good seeing you. Appreciate it. Made the simple way. With real lemon juice, 75% less sugar, and mm, mm, mm. Say yes to simple. to dreams for if dreams die life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly hold fast to dreams for in dreams go life is a barren field frozen with snow lots of oranges half the sugar 1,000% delicious. That's simple math. Say yes to simple. Folks, Black Star Network is peace. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. Black Black support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Rolling. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be skate. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?